Hey, Derek Bass, Clarity Provoked. I had a few sessions this week with clients and there was a theme that emerged from them around this idea of, of celebrating yourself and how uncomfortable that can be, right? This idea of looking back at all that you've done, whether it's a year ago or a day ago, and somehow having an adverse reaction to whatever those those things made you feel. And I just wanted to put together a very simple video sharing one of the ways I celebrate what I do in the business. Pretty much everything is, is digital. All my work is on the computer. Right? It's not like I'm out here building buildings. Right? It's something I can go stand by and touch and see and, and share and like physically engage with. I can't really do that. I'm helping people build themselves and unless I'm around them constantly to see the fruits of my labor, uh, I don't always get that reminder of if I'm successful, how successful I've been, etc. So what I do is what you see behind you, these pictures all on my wall, call it a wall of fame. I don't even have a name for it, right? There's no ritual, there's no process to it. It's whatever I had a, a frame of mind to capture a moment, record it, take a picture, and then I get inspired enough to actually print it, I'll hang it up on the wall. You know, I'll take maybe once a month, five minutes to just stare at them, to recreate those, those special magic moments in my head and actually feel the things I felt when they happened. The majority of it is just, you know, subconsciously me walking in and out, me passing by it every time I go into the office. It does wonders for me, especially because my business is so digital, right? And I've got things up there from the first workshop I've done, advertisements I've had online, um, different speeches and presentations I've done. You know, I've got a, a life-size stand of a display that I carry for different conferences that I go through. I, I love seeing this thing here. Right? I've got things like my daughter sitting in my office with my headset on at my keyboard and computer. That stuff touched my heart. I absolutely had to put that on the wall. My first paycheck is up there. A hundred bucks. But believe me when I tell you, it felt like a billion. And so when I reconnect to that moment, that feeling, guess what? I'm feeling like a billionaire in the work that I do. It's priceless, man. These, these memories, these moments, I highly encourage you to either borrow the process, do something like this for your own job, something to let you know how awesome you are. If you're worried about becoming complacent, if you're worried about somehow resting on your laurels and stopping this drive that has carried you forward thus far, right? if you're worried about being too arrogant, too self-centered, right? not, not being humble enough, don't be. I can tell you with no doubt whatsoever there's nothing in my body that has me sharing this in a way that makes me feel better than you. Not at all. In fact, if you're receiving it that way, doing something like celebrating yourself is a great way to dissipate that feeling. Right? That Facebook timeline syndrome where you start scrolling through everybody's wall and you feel some kind of way from staring at all their successes, all their wins. Start celebrating some of your own and theirs becomes less important. This whole comparison thing starts to go away because you're happy for, with what you do. You're content. You give yourself some love some gratitude, some acknowledgement, some thanks. Do this once a month. Watch how great it makes you feel. Watch how the last thing that feeling is going to do is make you stop. Watch how ready you are to actually pay it forward. When you're reminded of all that you've done, you can't help but to try and go out and do it again or do it to an even greater degree. Give it a try. Whatever you do, find some way to celebrate some aspect of your life, especially at work, because I imagine the majority of you are on your computers too.